Um, this is going to be an ice cream review. What? Yeah, uh, an ice cream review. And if you asked me three or four years ago, like when I started on YouTube, um, doing, you know, random things, I, my very first video was, was not knife related, but the majority of my early YouTube career, if you will, um, was all knife related. And if you asked me back then, hey, Jeff, what do you think about making a video on ice cream and telling your thoughts about it? I would go, are you kidding me? Who would watch that? Well, apparently you. <laughs> you would watch that today. And that's why I clicked on the video. So thank you for clicking on the video. So anyway, uh, it's special ice cream. It's not uh, well, it's special because it's a funny story, in my opinion. Um, I don't think ice cream in general is special. There's all kinds of ice cream all around the world. Uh, I'm not, well, I shouldn't say I'm not into ice cream. I love ice cream, you know, as most people do. Uh, but I don't, really don't eat it very often. Uh, even when I was younger, I don't have, I didn't have ice cream like all the time. Um, it's a nice little treat, you know, mostly in the summertime when it's hot out. It's very refreshing, you know, for the most part. Um, and occasionally I'll have it. But in the last probably year and a half now, um, trying to, you know, get into shape and, and lose weight and stuff, it's not been a part of my diet. So um, even the little thing of ice cream I have right now, it's just a pint. Uh, trust me, this will last me at least a week or two because I just, I cannot just sit here and eat a bunch of ice cream. You know, it's counterproductive. I'm trying to be active and, you know, eat well and stuff like that. And ice cream is definitely not part of that. However, this has a funny story to it. Um, this is Ben and Jerry's limited edition sweaty balls. Um, yeah, sweaty balls ice cream. Um, if you guys know anything about Ben and Jerry's, I've seen the, the you know, the history of their story and stuff. It's pretty interesting. If you ever catch that on, uh, you know, Travel Channel or whatever it was on, maybe History Channel. It's a very fascinating story. But, um, you know, they obviously have fun with their different ice cream flavors and names and stuff. And it's very unique. This one is mimicking, and you can see here the cow. And you can't read that probably on the webcam, but it says Saturday Night Live. And it's got a microphone on. And it's, it's hinting towards, uh, well, it's not hinting, it's blatant, towards a skit on SNL with the, uh, the two women... And they're on this this very you know calm, soft-spoken radio show that's completely boring, but they say things um, that are <laughs> very provocative, but they don't even know it. It's it's all innuendos, you know. Um, for example, there was one episode. This was years ago. I don't watch SNL anymore. I think the the current cast stinks, um, and the best SNL cast was before my time. I only watch reruns. But regardless, if you don't know what SNL is, it's Saturday Night Live. It's just a comedy show. But um, anyway, it's a uh, sketch comedy, and the one skit, it was one of the Baldwins. I want to say maybe Stephen Baldwin, but anyway, he was a guest star, you know, hosting the show, and he was on this skit, and uh, they're talking about, he's like a, a cook or something, and uh, he's like, he's talking about salty meatballs, but he kept saying, you know, oh, my salty balls, and, and the girls were like, oh, that sounds so delicious, and it's just, it was really funny, at least it was funny to me at the time. So that's kind of what this, this uh, I guess, came about, you know, the reason it came about. But sweaty balls, um, it doesn't sound very appetizing, does it? But let me tell you the actual flavor. That's just the name. Vanilla ice cream with a hint of rum and loaded with fudge-covered rum and malt balls. Okay, let's back up here for a second. Um, when I was younger, most of my life, I was definitely a chocolate kid, okay? And then, obviously, a chocolate teenager and a chocolate guy. Um, love chocolate. If you said vanilla or chocolate, I say ugh, vanilla ugh. and I take the chocolate every time. Right. But years and years, well, a whole lifetime of eating chocolate. Um, although I still like it, I, I like to try different things now. And as an adult adult, um, I, I do prefer vanilla most of the time. Uh, it's a simpler, you know, I don't know what it is. It seems plain, but you know, most good quality vanilla ice cream to me is tasty. And I do love chocolate still. Uh, if I'm given the choice, chocolate or vanilla, I'll take vanilla only because I have so much time invested in chocolate. If that makes sense to you. Um, but anyway, so vanilla ice cream, that's cool. Now, I love rum raisin ice cream, um, which to me has always been like an old man ice cream. Most kids like, you know, chocolate or vanilla. You don't see kids say, oh, yeah, I'll take rum raisin. It just seems like something your grandparents would eat. But it is absolutely delicious. So... I, first off, I heard about this when I was at the grocery store. Some woman was looking for it in the, in the, in the aisle, and I was grabbing ice cream uh, for my friend. I was going there for her just to pick up some groceries and stuff. And I overheard this conversation. This woman was asking one of the guys that worked there, the stock boys, um, I'm looking for, <laughs> for sweaty balls. 
And of course, that caught my attention. I'm like, what? So I'm kind of eavesdropping now. And uh, he's like, you know what? You know, we're trying to get it in. A lot of people are asking for it. And the whole time, I'm like, sweaty balls. What are they talking about? And then I stopped the woman as she's walking away. I'm like, I couldn't help but overhear what you're what you're talking about. Is you know, what is that? And she's like, oh, it's a Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It's delicious. And she explained it to me. I'm like, yeah, it sounds pretty good. But the whole deal was, at least by me. Every time they got it in, they got like two or three of these and they sold like that because so many people were looking for them. So it's like a rare ice cream. It, it sounds so ridiculous. But anyway, um, for the last three or four weeks, I've been looking at it, you know, looking for it every time I go to the grocery store and it hasn't been there. And um, today, just on a whim, uh, I was there because I, I go grocery shopping quite often. Um, instead of here's what I used to do when I first moved and lived by myself. I'd go grocery shopping for like two weeks. You know, I'd get a bunch of crap, you know, two or three dollars worth of food and it would last me a couple weeks, right? But when I did that, it was mostly processed food and junk food and crap, you know, and, and it would be able to last. But now that I try to eat healthier, um, the only thing I can buy proteins, you know, meats and fish and stuff like that, uh, well, not necessarily fish, but, you know, my pork and chicken and beef and, and I can freeze it ahead of time, okay? And then that will last me and I can thaw it when I want to cook it. But uh, for the most part, I'm in uh, you know the grocery store every other day, if not every day, picking up veg fresh uh, excuse me fresh vegetables, you know, um, and fruits and stuff like that for for my diet. So I, it's good just to get fresh all the time, you know. And I don't want to I can't store vegetables for a couple of days because then they, they get nasty. So anyway, um, the reason I'm saying that is because I I've been looking for this and I got so excited when I finally found one and it was the only one there. And I asked the kid as I was walking by, I'm like. Um, I'm like, oh, did you just get this in? He's like, I'm not even kidding when I tell you we got 30 of these an hour ago and they're gone. So I had the last one. So to me, this is very special. And I, I'm sorry for the extremely long intro because I didn't even crack the thing open yet. And who knows how long I've been babbling. But yes, this was exciting for me. I know it seems completely nuts and just outrageous to think that I got excited over ice cream. But yes, I did. So I found myself a pint of sweaty balls. And this crap's expensive. Ben and Jerry's is usually like four or five bucks for a pint. I happen to get a sale, it's two for eight, you know, so it's four dollars, no big deal. That's that's a lot of money for some ice cream, you know, just a little cup of it. But anyway, um, to honor this awesome ice cream, I'm going to debut some spoons, and these are just not regular spoons, these are special spoons that someone sent me as a gift. Um, now, these spoons are specifically for my hot sauce tasting, okay, but I'm going to debut them now because it's it's only right, it's only fitting. For sweaty balls. So I was going to make a separate video on this, but then I thought, nah, that's stupid. I'm going to really even have a whole video dedicated to spoons. Here they are. These are Einstein 24 karat gold plated spoons. Um, they're actually, they're baby spoons from Japan. And, uh, you know, I have no idea what that says because I don't read Japanese. But anyway, let's <laughs> take this wrapper off or wrapper the, you know, cover off. Um, is made in Sologen, Germany, even though everything, it's going to be very hard to see that up top there. But um, that's where they are manufactured. And uh, now we have the hard case, display case. This is hilarious to me. Very cool, but hilarious. <laughs> so here they are in all their glory. Yeah, 24 karat gold plated um, stainless steel spoons. So uh, it's supposed to not affect the flavor of whatever you have on there one bit. So the idea behind this, at least the person who sent it, you know, explained to me that uh, when I do hot sauce taste tests, um, the perhaps the metally, you know, flavor you may get from an aluminum spoon or a stainless steel spoon or whatever, um, it won't affect the flavor of the food. So when you do a food review, you're truly tasting the food itself and there's no possible chance that the uh, the spoon you're using or utensil is affecting that. And I laughed. Uh, I'm laughing now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not physically laughing, but in my head I am. Because um, I saw a, uh, a video on the History Channel on ice cream. And there's a guy who's an ice cream taste tester. Okay. And I kid you not. You might have seen this. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. But um, this guy's whole job is to take random things of ice cream. And I'm I'm not sure what the company was. Um, maybe they all have them. I don't know, but I think maybe it's Turkey Hill ice cream or something. But uh, this guy's whole job is he goes to work. This is what he does all day long. He takes the regular size ice cream things, the gallons, you know, and he takes this big knife, right? It's kind of a, you know, serrated bread knife looking thing. 
and he cuts all the way, he cuts the, the whole thing of ice cream completely in half. He separates it. He looks at it. If it's a flavor that has stuff in it, he's checking to make sure that it's, you know, evenly distributed, you know, amongst the ice cream and all that kind of stuff. This is a real job. You know, talk about falling in some crap, you know, and getting lucky in life. This guy's job is to cut open ice cream, look at it, say, yeah, that's good. And then he taste tests it. Okay. Now he uses a 24 Garrett, uh, Garrett. Yeah. He uses a 24 carat gold plated spoon as well. So, and that is, again, the idea behind it is that you're not affecting the flavor of the food and his whole job, he goes to work every day, cuts ice cream open, takes a bite and that's it, you know, and make sure that it's good to go. So, wow. Congratulations to you, sir. You won man of the year because that is awesome. Um, I don't get to do that. However, I am going to eat some ice cream some very limited edition rare ice cream off of a golden spoon. So, yeah. I'm only going to use one of these things. So, I was thinking about giving the other one away because the guy who um, sent this to me sent a nice little note. And he said, I realize you're only one person that maybe you can give the other one away if you don't want it. And it's not that I don't want it, but I think it'd be pretty cool if someone has the other one, you know. So, maybe I'll do that. You guys see this? I'm using one forever. I'm not even going to put my lips on that one. It's in the box, so in the future, if I happen to give it away, you'll know that it's clean and all that. So, here it is. It's actually pretty interesting. The spoon itself is shaped um, <laughs> to be more comforting in your mouth, like when you eat off of it, the, the way it's not just an oval. It's, I'm sure you can see that. It's kind of lopsided. It looks like it was melted or something. Really, really fascinating. And... Uh, it seems so stupid, but it, it actually feels better to eat off of. I don't know how that's even possible. But on the spoon itself, there's also markings here. So when you have liquids, and you're definitely, well, you can see it a little bit up top. Um, when you have liquids, it actually measures it. Now, the first line there uh, is two and a half milliliters. And then uh, the second line is five milliliters. All right, so you can actually see how much you have on your spoon. So pretty cool for the hot sauce reviews. But anyway... I can't believe how long this is and I didn't even really start it yet. I know one of you guys, one of you sneaky people are going to post just the time. I actually enjoy that quite a bit and I thank you because if I babble for three or four minutes, someone will write like, you know, three minutes and 64 seconds review starts or whatever it is. And I think that's hilarious, but thank you for that. Um, of course, whoa, whoa, we can't be having that. Got to flick it open the right way, right? Let me do another one here. That's my little Tosh.0 redemption. <laughs> And a shout out to Tex. Congratulations for being an idiot on TV. Um, as stupid as that honor seems, uh, we'd all love to be on Tosh.0. Bueno. So congratulations. That's very cool. Um, yeah, web redemption. Flicking a knife open the right way. All right, so let's stop talking, Jeff, and let's get into this ice cream because these people still don't know why they're watching a review on ice cream. So let's quickly get into it before they realize what's going on and go away. <laughs> so all right. Get this off. Should I dedicate another spoon or another knife to uh, just opening ice cream? Nah, I don't think so. This might be my one and only ice cream review. So yeah. Sweaty balls. Let's take a look at it here. Alright. Vanilla ice cream. I can see some of those chocolate things popping up. <laughs> Can't believe I have a 24 karat gold spoon now. All right, let's get a nice little scoop of this. First, let's try just the ice cream itself without any of the stuff inside. Mm. I got one of those little things on accident, little balls. I got a sweaty ball. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Uh, the ice creams, it's very good. It's a very rich, creamy vanilla ice cream flavor. All right. I don't really pick up on the hint of rum. However, I just had one of these little chocolatey things in here. Let me get one out for you to show you. And um, it's basically, it tasted like chocolate rum. It was freaking delicious. I mean, really good. There's one. Let me get the ice cream off of it. It's 
kind of oblong. It looks like a, um, I don't know, chocolate covered peanut or something. And it's just like, it's chocolate. And it's kind of chewy like caramel, but not as, not as sticky. Like it's chewy in the beginning. Uh, you know what it tastes like? And not taste like, but the texture is of a uh, cookie dough. If you ever had, you know, chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, it's like that. It's a little bit chewy and then, you know, it goes away. But I got a punch of rum flavor that was absolutely delicious. And you know what it reminds me of? I remember one time when I was younger, uh, I went to a uh, flea market. And um, <laughs> it was around Christmas time. I'll never forget this, uh, this uh, oriental guy. I'll say he was Japanese, but... Honestly, he could have been anything. He was just Oriental. I don't really know the difference. Um, and I don't mean that to be offensive, but I really just have no idea. But anyway, he had a little stand with some uh, some Christmas uh, cookies and, and chocolates and stuff. And he passed out, you know, some samples. And there were a, uh, you know, a liquor, um, you know, chocolate liquor cordial type thing. And basically, they were just a little chocolate shell with actual liquor inside. And uh, he just handed me one. And I must have been like eight or nine years old at the time. And then I looked at my dad like I did something wrong because I had it in my hand. I'm like, and I knew that it was liquor because he has a sign and everything and what, what everything is. And my, I just looked at my dad like, and he went, yeah, go ahead. And it popped in my mouth and it was just, it was basically just like a rum extract on the inside. And it was so delicious. And, uh, you know, I'm not like a drinker or anything, but it's just a flavor. When you pinpoint that kind of a flavor, that liquor with the chocolate, it pairs so nicely and that richness with the creaminess and stuff of the vanilla ice cream, it is absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, I'm not a, a ice cream connoisseur, but this is really, really delicious. Um, yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. A nice little surprise. Okay. Now, I hit another sweaty ball, and it looks like the completely round ones, instead of the flatter ones, the round ones are malt balls, chocolate covered malt balls, just like Whoppers, if you guys ever had Whoppers, which is, I think, an awesome, like, movie time snack, and I happen to love, and everyone always saw I was weird about this, I always loved when you got the Whopper that was stale, and it was actually chewy instead of crunchy, I loved those, those things were like gold to me, but, uh... Yeah, you can't beat this. It is fantastic ice cream. It's really, really delicious. Um, will I buy it again? No. Uh, reason being is because it's going to make me fat again. Uh, I can eat. I can eat this whole thing right now easily, and then go out and buy another one. Uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going <laughs> to cap this up. I'll take another big bite when I turn the camera off. But then I'll cap it up and put it away for uh, for another day. But it is fantastic. Um, so I recommend sweaty balls. To, uh, to anyone out there looking for a sweet, cold treat. I uh, can't believe I just did an ice cream review. <laughs> but there you go. Good stuff. I just thought it was kind of a funny story. It was so rare, hard to find. So, yeah, that it's it's good stuff. So go, 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 blah, 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 blah. Oh, <laughs> So anyway, thanks for, uh, for watching this ridiculous video. Yes, ice cream review. What could possibly be next? Well, stick around. You'll find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.